Welcome to the third lecture in the Innovation Lecture Series. In this lecture, we will talk about how companies can engage in innovation by changing their revenue models. Revenue models determine how companies make money. For example, Google's main revenues come from advertising, whereas Procter & Gamble's main revenues come from product sales. Let's take a look at two products that have been around for a while. Please go to the Innovation Playlist on YouTube and watch these two videos. Can you think of any other ways to make money with Tide and Mr. Clean that is not through the sales of these products in stores? How else could we make money with Tide and Mr. Clean? Please pause the video lecture and brainstorm about ways to make money with Tide and Mr. Clean other than through product sales. Write down your ideas and then continue to play this video lecture. One way that Procter & Gamble is actually making money with Tide today is through the Tide Dry Cleaners franchise. Procter & Gamble wasn't into franchising as revenue model before, so it required a complete shift in thinking. The dry cleaning industry is very fragmented with no big players. If you think about it, the dry cleaner where you go is probably a family-owned business and that family probably has one or only a few dry cleaning stores. So this is a big opportunity for Tide to come in with its brand recognition and they have added significant new things not normally available at traditional dry cleaners, such as 24-hour drop boxes and 24-hour lockers for pickup. Similarly, the Mr. Clean brand, which is also owned by Procter & Gamble, has been leveraged to start a Mr. Clean car wash franchise. Next, we'll cover a list of common revenue models. For your presentation, you will have to come up with ideas for revenue models that are new to your company. The revenue models presented below can be used as inspiration. The first revenue model is free. You provide a product for free and get your revenues through advertising. We all know Facebook and Alphabet's Google make their money this way. But a less obvious example is advertising company Atchell. They provide cities and municipalities with free bus shelters, including maintenance, and make money through renting out the bus shelter space for advertising purposes. Another way to get revenues is by outsourcing tasks to a broad group who contribute content for free in exchange for access to each other's content. You can then again make money through advertising. Wikipedia consciously does not want to advertise, so their revenues come primarily from donors. Companies using the razor blade revenue model sell the razors at low cost and make their profits on the blades or the consumables. You might have noticed that printers are not expensive, but ink is, and that razors are not expensive, but razor blades are. Kodak used a similar model when it was still successful, with film and paper being the consumables. In the standardization revenue model, companies try to standardize solutions to problems, thereby dramatically reducing their costs, that earlier were only available as high-cost, customized products or services. Examples are Minute Clinic, but also TurboTax, LegalZoom, and online classes for credit. In the negative operating cycle revenue model, companies maintain low inventory and have the customer pay upfront for products or services that will be delivered in the future. When you customize a Dell computer, for example, you have to pay for it before it is even manufactured. Similarly, Amazon charges you before goods are shipped out. The freemium revenue model offers basic services for free, but upgraded or premium services at a charge. Examples are Skype and Dropbox. In the pay-as-you-go revenue model, customers are built for metered services based on actual usage rates. We know this from electricity or gas or data charges by usage. However, this revenue model is not limited to utility companies. Rolls-Royce has something called power by the hour, where companies like United and Delta, rather than purchasing Rolls-Royce plane engines, pay a rental fee to Rolls-Royce based on uptime, the time that the plane is actually up and using its engine. Leasing is a revenue model that enables customers to use high-margin, high-cost products through leasing instead of buying. Medical device companies oftentimes use this revenue model, as well as companies producing large office copiers. Fractionalization allows users to own a part of a product but enjoy many of the benefits of full ownership at a fraction of the price. Timeshares are a famous example. 
and NetJets allows you to purchase a timeshare of a plane instead of needing to have a plane in full ownership. In the brokerage business model, brokers bring together and facilitate transactions between buyers and sellers, charging a fee for each successful transaction. Companies like Orbitz make money as brokers, as do many professionals, such as stockbrokers, insurance brokers, and real estate brokers. User communities grant members access to a network that is funded through membership fees and sometimes also advertising. An example is Angie's List, but there are many others like Urban Sitters and TaskRabbit. You can find a handout with an overview of many different revenue models that you can use as inspiration for your presentation on Google Drive. This concludes the lecture series on innovation.